finding solutions to the challenges of education in Nigeria will require investments and improvements in the quality of teaching. This message formed the core of the Gamaliel and Susan Onosade Foundation lecture, which held today in Lagos. At the session, the guest speaker, our former Minister of Education, Mrs. Obi Ezekwesili, and other discussants called for a national economic governance conference to address the sectoral gaps. Globally, 61% of children lack access to education, but over 10 million of the affected children are found in Nigeria. In this edition of the Gamaliel and Susan Onoso Day Foundation Lecture, organizers choose to float a topic that connects with the life and times of its founder, the late Deacon Gamaliel Onoso Day. Some of the challenges facing the education sector in Nigeria are the, those of access, equity, value, quality, relevance, management and funding. The chairman of the occasion and former secretary general of the Commonwealth, Mr. Emeka Anyaoku, describes the focus of the meeting as timely. In my view, the entire Nigerian education system is in dire need of rehabilitation, both in terms of the quality of the education that we now give our children also in the quality of the teaching and I may also say in the quality of the curriculum. Sharing findings from her past experience as a former education minister, the keynote speaker, Mrs. Obi Ezekwesili, explains how the lack of funding and poor teaching quality destroyed education in the country. She suggests the need for a national economic governance conference to bridge the gaps. My proposal is that it is time to call for a national economic governance conference in this country. What were the barriers to a country like Nigeria with all its potentials not creating a GDP base that is double what it currently is? That question needs to be asked. When that question is asked, you will then understand the role that education plays in the progress of society. And discussants appear to agree with Mrs. Ezekwesele's position. The real impact of a weak educational system is showing up in our economic system. Every company is suffering from being able to find the right kind of people to employ. The organizers also joined to re-echo the demands. Uh, talking cannot hurt you, it can only help. So perhaps, maybe once again we should attempt uh, with a f education focus based economic summit. A journey of a 1,000 kilometer starts with one step. Let's start doing something about education. Let's put education as one of our priorities. The forum features the presentation of an award to the best performing candidate in the just concluded West African Secondary Schools certificate examination. Town or village in Lagos, I know it well. The foundation plans to commence its scholarship scheme next year with a view to realizing the dreams of the late founder. Temple Ashaju, Channels Television News.